Hello, I'm Dr. Michio Kaku, professor of theoretical physics. I do research on the cutting edge of physics, such as black holes or Einstein's theory. But in my book, The Future of the Mind, I explore the brain. You see, MRI scans have given us a revolutionary new way to answer the key question, where do ideas come from? You see, the brain is dynamic, constantly rewiring itself as it creates new ideas. This is what we call neuroplasticity. The brain is a pattern-seeking learning machine. You see, MRI scans show that memories and experiences are not found in just one spot, but are actually spread out over the entire surface of the brain in different combinations of our neurons. So when we daydream, these memories drift and begin to bump and interact with other memories. Eventually, out of these random collision of memories, an idea forms. Next, the brain runs simulations of these ideas into the future. If I do this, or if I do that, then what happens? You see, these simulations determine which ideas will succeed and which ones will fail. So the brain is a time machine, constantly daydreaming about ideas to determine how the future will unfold. And then the brain starts this process all over again. So what are the lessons for us today? Number one, the collision and interaction of memories from your experiences creates ideas. With more diversity in your experience, you can create better and more unique ideas. Number two, you have to constantly run these simulations of these ideas into the future to see which ones will succeed or fail. That's what we call daydreaming. However, generating new ideas is not enough. This is where you come in. You see, ideas are essentially useless until you can bring them into the marketplace and the world. And your ability to do so quickly can change the course of your business and the future.